Every day, men and women all over the world struggle to provide their children with a nutritious meal. On a planet that produces enough food for all, 795 million people still go to bed on an empty stomach. So the question about dependency um, targets sort of the, the uncomfortable feeling that many on the African continent have with social protection. They think that social protection increases dependency. In other words, when someone receives social grants or school feeding, they apparently, or they think that there's no incentive for these people to be productive on their own and to try to escape the, the cycle of poverty that they're in at that point in time. But then when you again understand and analyze reality, when you go to those households before the program, when you go to those households after the program and compare them with households that are similar characteristics but don't receive the program, you actually see that households that um, receive the program not only get less babies but also take more time between the first and the second baby. So there's better family planning. For the households that do not receive the program there's no change. One in three people suffers from some form of malnutrition. Public policies that expand markets for farmers in low-income countries associated with income transfer initiatives and other social programs are pivotal to achieve a world without hunger. É uma cadeia. O agricultor produz, ele fornece, o governo compra e ele fornece para essa população né, mais vulnerável da periferia e garante que ela permaneça mais tempo na escola. Desenvolvendo a agricultura uh, familiar, uh, nós teremos uma criança bem nutrida e estaríamos também a resolver muitos dos problemas de desnutrição crônica que há na comunidade, que afetam o sucesso da escola, a atividade das escolas. In 2015, all countries have adopted the 17 Sustainable Development Goals to improve people's lives by 2030. Goal 2, Zero Hunger, aims to end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. It is critically important that we develop capacity of our people also on the ground um, to, to produce food uh, for distribution to schools and the other institutions that we mentioned. You know, there's also the whole issue of technological innovation that I observed in Brazil, and uh, some of that technology could also be transferred. The Center of Excellence Against Hunger a partnership between Brazil and the United Nations World Food Program provides technical assistance to developing countries to design and implement policies and programs to eliminate hunger. Brazilian experiences in this area are shared with countries all over the world. When they have a plan, an established plan, they show to the world that they know where they want to go. They know what they want to establish in the country. And based on that, I'm sure, I'm completely sure that they will have the funding necessary to establish these policies in the country. Some African countries have adopted the Brazilian model and their school feeding programs prioritize the purchase of produce from local farmers. This measure strengthens the agricultural markets and increases the diversity and quality of food consumed by children. We'll understand why the children have to go to school irrespective of the challenges. And an, ed an educated parent, even if they're poor, in fact, when they're poor, then they will know where to look for possible solutions, how to access whatever opportunities are available for them, even when it comes to to, to social protection, because there are still many who are, who are left out, who are invisible. And this program has increased the school attendance. The, the schools that are implementing the homegrown school feeding program are actually oversubscribed. Too many pupils for small infrastructure, to the point where we are having difficulties to contain the pupils, because they know there's a meal. They are not going to be hungry the whole day uh, and playing on an empty stomach, but they'll have, they'll have something to eat. And all those kids who are discouraged to go to school, they have been coming to school and the impact is already shown.